Tuba, congrats on winning the Skybet Championship Player of the Month for December. Um, nice recognition for you, and, and shows how well you've been doing this season. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ever so grateful, and uh, it's fantastic to get acknowledged for the work I've been doing. And obviously, uh, I got to thank the team as well because uh, I wouldn't be able to do it without the boys. So this is for all of us, not just me. You seem to be really playing with a smile on your face and really enjoying yourself at the moment in particular. Yeah, I'm just playing. I'm just going out there playing, you know, not overthinking. Uh, I'm thankful to Woody and the gaffer for giving me so much freedom out there. Um, obviously, I have to respect the team, um, the tactical work that we do, but also when we're in possession, I get a lot of freedom and um, I'm enjoying it so far. So I just got to continue like this. Yeah, I mean, you, your scoring record in particular since Michael Carrick has come in has been excellent. He's been playing in that slightly withdrawn role and it seems to really suit your game and, and the way that you are playing. Yeah, um, it, I, I do enjoy playing there, you know, because I have much more touches on the ball and I get to link the play much, much more than I did before. And I think that's one of my strengths, probably getting on the half turn, driving at defenders, uh, threading passes into my teammates and uh, just, just trying to make things happen and be cre creative. So, um, yeah, uh, I've, I've loved playing there ever since the gaffers come in. And, uh, yeah, I just got to keep improving and learning the position. We've spoken about it before, but Ryan Giles, you think have a really good connection with him. Do you think he gets an assist for this award? <laughs> yeah, I told him, I told him I'll split it in half with him. Now nah, he deserves it, man. Um, he's been amazing. Uh, he's, a, he's a top, top uh, player and a top person as well. But um, not just him, all the guys in the team, you know, the team spirit's amazing. Um, anytime anyone scores, you can see the whole team's going to celebrate. And it's, it's small things like that that can help and can be the difference in the future. So, you know, there's a good team spirit in the changing room and on the pitch as well. To be in this position you're in now, considering perhaps where you were in the summer, it must feel incredible. And I guess, do you set yourself any targets going forward? Because, you know, it's been a long time since this club's had a 20 goal a season striker, for example. But do you set yourself targets going forward? Yeah, I do. I set myself targets in the beginning of the season. Obviously, it was a tough circumstance I was in. But even then, I still set myself targets. And, uh, you know, you can only control what you can control. Try and be professional. Try and work as hard as you can for yourself. And um, whatever happens, happens. So I just try to make sure I'm ready for whatever was coming in my way. And um, I've done that. So I just got to continue and, uh, you know, keep, I keep setting myself new targets as well. So it's good to be work, always working towards something. Yeah, and obviously you've got this award. You've been nominated for the PFA award as well, which is nice. Nice to get these individual acknowledgements. But as you've said, it's a team game and that shows that the team's doing well as well. And, and long may that continue. Yeah, exactly. It does. It shows that the team is doing really well. And um, of course, you're going to need some, some individuality sometimes to get us through some games as well. And the good thing is that everyone's, everyone's you know, helping as much as they can from defensive point of view and from attacking, everyone's scoring, everyone's assisting. So everyone's getting in on the act. So that's, that's, really, that's really good. And, um, you know, we've got, we've got good squad depth, players starting, players coming in from the bench. We all know that everyone can add something to the team. So that's another good thing to have because uh, it's going to be a long season and we're going to need everyone. Yeah, I mean, Cameron Archer's come in. What's been your first impression to him? Obviously, more quality in the, in the striking department, which is always good. Yeah, more firepower, more firepower, you know. Um, at the end of the day, we're all working as a team here, you know. So whichever striker plays, they just got to do their job. Then the next striker will come in and, and they got to do their job as well. So I think we're, try we're really started on the training pitch, like trying to create, you know, little patterns here and uh, link up as much as we can. And hopefully we can take that into the games. And just lastly, back to the championship this weekend against Millwall. Obviously, last weekend a really tough game against top quality opposition, but we'll be looking to, to pick up where we left off in, in terms of the league. Yeah, definitely. Um, the gaffer always says that we should set our standards high. And um, now that we've gone on a run of winning a few games, you know, let's not settle. Let's just keep pushing, keep pushing. Why not? You know, um, it's possible. I think we've got a strong enough team. We know what we're doing. So, you know, even though we've um, got three wins on the bounce or four wins on the bounce, let's keep going for five, six, seven, you know, why not? And let's go on a good run. So um, it is really exciting times and uh, I'm looking forward to it.